hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making barbecue rum pork belly um so i got this from copperwood pork so if you want to see how this is made just stay tuned and keep on watching so we're starting with a pack of the salted pork belly from copperwood pork so what I'm going to do is just wash this with some vinegar and water and then return to season it. So next I'll be preparing or seasoning. So I'll be using fresh ginger and some sprigs of scallion. Now it's important to have your pot of water boiling in the background because you are going to be adding your ginger and scallions along with your salted pork to that. Alright, so I'll be placing or rinsed pork into a pot of water that will get to a rolling boil eventually. Alright, so next I'll be adding my chopped scallions and ginger. Next, I added some of my green seasoning and now I'll be adding some balsamic vinegar. That is about two tapes, teaspoons. Now, as you can see, our pot is boiling. So we are going to then just pour that water off and now prepare other fresh seasonings to use as we are going to be frying the pork. So right here, I have three cloves of garlic. I'll be adding some more fresh ginger again. So to combine the flavors and ensure it's just nice and strong, I'll be using my mortar to mash the ginger garlic and i'll be adding a few balls of pimento seed next i have some jalapenos so I'll be using one and I'll be cutting them into the circle medallions. So now to work on our sauce, I have this rum barbecue sauce from Eaton's, which I'm going to use as the base. So I'll be starting with about a half cup of that and then I will proceed to add some pure honey. Hi daddy, this is from my father. So I'll be using a quarter cup of honey as well. And then I'll be using a little bit of molasses. 
and next I'll be adding some Chinese soy sauce so that will equate to a little less than a quarter cup next I'll add three tablespoons of brown sugar you know whisk it all together just add a little top of reanimate if you white rum although you know Ethan's come with rum but a little bit extra you know not nah, kill nobody right so I added some oil to the frying pan and I poured in the um the seasoning that I had mashed in the in the mortar but guys this right here is a war zone it pop it pop it pop my dutch oil saute so anyway you fry them until you know the pork is brown on both sides and then add the barbecue mix that we had created and I'm just gonna add some pork seasoning to that as well and then throw in the jalapenos So I left it to simmer for about 30 minutes to an hour. Just look at that. This is not even like slow down video. This is just how perfect it is. And so this is what it looks like after I've plated it, guys. Just looks so good. So good. But if you do decide to make this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at jaysway87.